So come on in, take a sip. Let's wind down on the Tuesday grid. Today we have a Daniel uh, Bodili construction edited by Joel Fagliano. So let's hop in and see where it takes us today. Alrighty. Well, here we go with a Florida Panther. I mean, I'm assuming that's maybe a Lynx or a Puma. So let's see what we got going down. Diplomat success. I'm going to go with the Packed here, so Puma it must be. Uh, no, not must be. I could still easily be wrong. Um, rental for a DIY mover. I think this is a U-Haul. Woman in a tub. Black Mamba. Okay. C21 across. Some summer coffee orders, maybe iced latte. That L and that A kind of makes me think lattes. So let's see. Can you always be wrong? Lovely lady in a Beatles hit. I think we're talking about Rita. Equipment for zooming, maybe a camera lens. I've got several right over there behind me, don't I? Hmm. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Tallest president in U.S. history. This is Abraham Lincoln. Noted whale watcher of literature. Yes, call me Ishmael. Something a kid's menu might double as. It looks like we're trying to get placemat out of this one. <clears throat> so, uh, not too challenging just yet. Um, vegetable whose name means to eat in some Western African languages. I think this is a yam. But we need to find that out. Like about 4% of human blood, and I think this is type AB. Uh, well, that doesn't need to be checked, but that's what I think it is. Egyptian viper and asp. Uh, shocking thing found on a farm. Nest for a raptor. This is usually an airy. Oh, sometimes it's spelled uh, E Y R I E, which is always kind of strange. Yeah, that E just kind of helps me kind of put this to bed. I think this is an electric fence. And um, had few hang ups with those rolling up out in the country. The swinging blank robe wearing mascot for the Padres. This is the swinging friar. Feature of the Rolex logo. We're talking about a crown. The five point challenge for an underachiever. A fly went by. Gets thinner, maybe slims down. Small dent could be a ding. Still competing in it. That sure has been in a lot of grids lately, hasn't it? In it. In it. I mean, he's still in it. She's still in it. With 67 and 68 across, MC Hammer lyric that applies to each of the answers to the starred clues. Well, I don't even know what all of them are yet, but this looks like can't touch this. So... I like it when I think I know, and especially when I find out I'm wrong, I find that interesting, but we have eels here and the gemstone Olympic Australis for one, and I do believe that's an opal where Moses received the Ten Commandments, clearly going to be Sinai at that one. Accessory for dressy attire, maybe a tie. Dressy attire, how about a suit? Actor Lou of Barbie, and isn't that Simu? 2016 Olympics host, and that was down in Rio. Wow, now the Duran Duran song is stuck in my head. Set one sight on, maybe aim at. Poison Shrub Sumac. Yeah, I think this is a lot easier than yesterday's. Yesterday was the Monday. 
emphasize, perhaps it's just to stress, Steph Curry, collapsible camping convenience where you're caught, where to look for fingerprints, perhaps a crime scene, ceramics and sculpture for two, arts, yeah. Issa of American Fiction, Ray, like zirconium on the periodic table, yes, 40th, got it. O'Rourke of Texas Politics, I think we're talking about Beto. Maybe Urban Outfitters, get 21 in Blackjack, maybe win. Puma is a big cat. I feel like I must have. Challenge for an underachiever. Limbo bar. That's clever. I like that. More sardonic, perhaps rare. And I just got to do this down here. I don't want to leave this out there hanging. Dog show organization. Is it the American Kennel Club? Lots and lots. Maybe a ton. La hermana de mama. Is this the tia? Fuzzy fruit. Kiwi, got it. Kiwis. That's my shout out to Alex Wilder, even though, you know, Australia and New Zealand, New Zealand are different, but still related, right? Vibe could be an aura. That is a great little old wine. It's the same one that we tried before. It's the we. Um, but I, yeah, I love that wee table one. Wonderful little French table one. Blink or jump say, I think this is a reaction. Uh, two for flinching, mm, yeah. Subject of a caution sign on a park bench. I think this is wet paint. Expire, uh, it could be laps, major model. Founder of the American Shakers, yes, Stan Lee. Drug whose name can be found in Spells Danger. So I guess LSD. Hmm, okay. Didn't know if that was an existing, and I don't know if that's an existing mnemonic, but no, 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 why not? Hungry, maybe unfed. And this major muddle looks like a snafu. Uh, AC measures, usually BTUs, fill in teacher sub. The main characters in the Born Identity and Memento. Are they maybe amnesiacs? Conditional word in coding else. And. Book jacket profiles. I think we're talking about bios there. The Crimson Tide to fans. Bama. Rail splitters tool. I'm gonna be an axe. The last O of Yolo. Hmm. He only lived once. And who was that too? That was um, Jewels and Inky. Jewels and Inky. Uh, back, I was still in the army, like 2011 or 13, 12, 14, somewhere in there. Uh, while I was stationed at Fort Bliss, I heard that uh, they got in a car and tweeted YOLO and then went and died. So, I mean, I don't care, fan or not, that's got to be an awful thing to have happen. But you only live once. Computer debut of 1984. I think this is a Mac. And then, of course, we have widescreen theater. Okay, good. Enter a username and password. This looks like it might be to log in. And we're coming up on the rear here. So, cricket, maybe an insect. RCA cable. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside with Jen Saki. And how do we do, Bob? Good. Well, I mean, yeah, not not bad uh, for a Tuesday. I mean, we're kind of just walking through it slowly, but I couldn't have gone much faster even if I wasn't talking. I mean, got to have time to read them, try to enjoy your puzzles, right? 
But it was a good, clever grid. And spots I really like the uh, can't touch this in the crime scene. I mean, for a Tuesday, good stuff. So anyway, out with you. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I've been learning. Pozdrovenia and Zabogun. Which I think respectively is see you later in Polish and in Macedonian. And uh, uh, I just... Let me know where you're from, and I'll learn how to say hello and goodbye. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I love languages, right? You know, I like as much as I love general knowledge. And so, yeah, tell me where you're from, and I'll learn how to say hello and goodbye at a minimum. And if it's someplace where I can travel to, like I'm thinking about going to uh, Poland here, uh, probably at the end of next month and just hanging out. Um, just things I just want to go see and do. I need to go spend, get, spend some time up in Prague as well. So, but that could just be an easy weekend trip. It's only about a two-hour drive. So we're looking at our options. But nevertheless, you need to learn as many languages as possible because each time you have a language, according to well, it's attributed to Charlemagne. You you gain a whole new window to a whole new soul, and that's kind of a really cool thing with me. Um, again, I mean, wow! Talk about a, a bump in subscribers overnight, and I cannot tell you how much that means to me. I mean, it literally is so moving. That I mean, it's kind of like taking a deep breath and realizing that something bigger than you is happening, and people are coming together and forming a beautiful community. And that just I love that. Just comments, the likes, the the, the interaction. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Um, and with that, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work, and we can then knock out the big grid and the mini and get them up and posted. Let's do these things together. In the meantime, be good to yourselves, be nice to others, do it for selfish reasons because it does make you feel better, right? And it's just the right thing to do. Anyway, cheers. Take care. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Ciao.